last episode, we took on Olympiakos in the first leg of the second knockout round of the Europa League. And we lost 2-0 before beating them on the return leg at our place 1-0. But it wasn't good enough and we were eliminated from the competition. We then took on leaders, Bayern München, at their place and we lost 2-0. Since then, we've taken on Hanover. We won 2-0 before beating Hamburg 3-1 in our place before back-to-back -back wins against Köln and Nuremberg. 2-0 and 3-0 respectively. In this episode, the final episode of the season, we take on Freiburg, Red Bull Leipzig and Wolfsburg. Now, bring your attention to this match right here. Uh, Leipzig against Bayern. It's fourth versus first at Leipzig's venue, that, that match itself could bring us right back into the thick of things in regards to a title challenge. Obviously, we are currently three points adrift since we lost to Bayern. But if they lose this against Leipzig, then we could maybe sneak ourselves right back in contention and bring it down to a last couple of game deciders. So let's wait and see what happens with this match before we continue our progress. And well, 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 that's what I was hoping for. Leipzig win 1-0. Uh, so that now makes it nice and tight at the top. We do take on Leipzig as well, which uh, at our place in the, in the following game after the match against uh, Freiburg. So we'll see how all this pans out. The Bundesliga, often dominated by a team from the south. The Bavarians have fought off the battle from the team in the yellow and black. But a new power comes from the west. A new force rises from the Rhine. Welcome to Schalke 04. So here we are with our first game of this video where we take on Freiburg at their place uh, and a win will get us right back in contention for any slipped opportunities Bayern might still have for the rest of the season. A win won't get us top of the table unless we win by like 20 goals to nil but I doubt that's going to happen. So my start 11 for this match looks like this. Farman and Goal, Petra, Rekicic, Kera, Chambers, Douglas, Goretzka, Pavon, Maya, Miniamo and Embolo up front. Our hosts come with a 4-4-2. And we get the match underway in a, looks like an overcast day here in Freiburg. First early chance of the match goes to Freiburg. Pavon, Douglas, Ozepeka crosses in there. Shawolo, quality name with the save. Big punt forward for the man to chase and Peterson. Niles Peterson gives Freiburg the lead within the first five, six minutes of this match. Pretty simple. Route one football. Um, that's what you need, really. And they nearly have a second with the same man, Molodali, for uh, Freiburg with the, with the assist. Possible assist, anyhow. Anyway, Freiburg on the attack. Once again, Farman with a big save. Keeps him out bay. Only 1-0 down. And here come Freiburg again from the resultant corner, but it amounts to nothing. 17 minutes gone. Freiburg building again. Peterson sets up somebody that's broken up. Hopefully Schalke can break from this now. Mbolo, Kahetska. Dancing around, loses it. Here comes Selke for Freiburg. Peterson shot straight at Farman. And it's still 1-0. We're going to be competing at the top, boys. We need to be winning these kind of games. 22 minutes gone. Pump forward. Goretzka Miniamo loses it. Here come Freiburg once again. They've got complete control in that midfield. And they are ripping us apart with ease. 25 minutes gone. Free kick though. Maya. Look what a woeful free kick. The boy's been moaning about football when he plays stuff like that. Simple stuff. Results in a goal. Absolutely horrific. Switching it down a few gears to counter-attack and maybe we can uh, spring some surprises on them for a change. I think with us going guns blazing, they're just carving us open with a hot knife through butter. Here we go. Mbolo, Maya, Kahet's getting this shot. It's put behind for a corner. Pavon will take it, floats it in there, poorly done. Again. 30 minutes in, we are 2-0 down. A goal before halftime would... Give us some hope. Otherwise, we're going to be pissing in the wind, boys. Pissing in the wind. And a third for them would definitely, definitely make it a massive uphill struggle. Looking at my bench, 
I have attacking numbers on my bench, so that's something Chambers. Mini armor. Back to Chambers. Myers hacked down. He's actually having a nightmare game. Barman with the ball boots it. Big build up. Peterson shot straight at the keeper. He's having a blinder. Come on. Get across in there. Come on, boys. There we go. Pav on. Gives us some hope. We need a win. We can't miss these golden opportunities against Bayern. The shot is wide. Farman boots it. Hacked down by Gohetska. Kara Chambers. Maya Mbolo. Gohetska. Use a pass. Do not go for any ambitious shots. Oh my goodness gracious. That was a delightful goal. I think it deserves a replay. Gohetska. To Miniamo. Little lucky break here. Gets, gets it back to Douglas. Sets up Pavel. Takes it on his chest. Dances on the keeper. We are now level. Two goals for Pavon, two goals for Peterson. Who's going to have the third? Kera, Douglas, given away. Off to Pekka, Pavon. Gretzka, Meyer, loses it. Bad play, cleaned up by Schalke. Pavon sets up in bowl, he's got pace. But Shawolawolo with the save. Chambers, Miniamo, Meyer, get a cross in. And Bono's in there again, not, not renowned for his headers. As we creep and crawl to the halftime, it's 2-2. Fifth goal. Going to be massive, whoever gets it. And Maya had a chance there. He's had an absolute mare. Even though he's got a 7.1, I think he has more like a 6.1. So, second half gets underway. We have made one change. And the man Maya's come off. And Bergstahl has come on. Hopefully we can uh, find the key that will open up the door to three points. We've got to keep these boys at bay. They are pretty menacing when they come forward. But here comes Miniamo. Pavon. Cross in there. Shabolo with the safe hands. Looking for a distribution option, but it's poor. And Bolo. Kretzka. Pat Bergstahler's effort. It takes a ricochet. It will be a corner. And Pavon takes it horrendously. 52 minutes in. Pavon. But it's poor. Here come Freiburg. Shabolo. Cleaned up. Douglas. Gohetska, Bergstahl tries to get a cross in again. That was a piss poor effort. Here comes Peterson, the guy on two goals. Does he go for a third? Marlo Dolly nearly had this opportunity there. Farmer with the reflex saves keeps Schalke in this match. And Peterson, Pavon both looking for a hat trick. Is anyone going to get it? I'm not too sure at the moment. It's a very, very tense atmosphere for Schalke, and that was horrific by Gohetska. We're around about the 60 minute mark. Farman boots it long. Here come Freiburg. Kerr to the back to Farman. Boots it towards Bergstahler. Can't get a hold of it. Here come Freiburg once again. And that was Peterson giving him too much space. He's on nine. What a performance he's having. Pavon on 8.8. .8. And let's make some changes. Big, big players coming on for a big, big occasion. Can we find an, a winner? Bergstahler. Shot straight at Schwolo Wolo. Corner results in nothing. Rafina. Rafina once again. Freiburg dancing around it. Gets a good ball out to Peterson, who's had a brilliant game. And here he is again, finding space all the time. Mola Dolly. If that was Peterson, that would have been over. Free kick. Pavon. Lovely effort. So close. 20 minutes to go. Pavon. Can he get a cross in? Mbolo's in there. How massive could that goal be? Obviously, we're not taking any hits on our goal difference, but that puts us level with the leaders. Same games played. But we need to hold on. We need to hold on. Cleaned up. Rakitic boots it. Dorado has been on absolutely woeful form, Dorado. And there's Chambers, of all people. What a belter, 4-2. Finally, it looks like we're going to get this game under our thumbs here. Long ball to Dorado, Kohetska, Mbolo over the top. Mbolo once again. 
Oh, they were hot footing around there. They could have easily just punted that in. Chambers, Goretzka, Rafina, Bergstahler, Pavon. Goretzka's shot is wide. Shabola Wola boots it long towards Peterson. Still on a hat trick. Pavon, Dorado, Peterson. All that hard work is coming through him. And he nearly gets his, he nearly gets his hat trick, and that would have made it a right tense affair for the last 10 minutes. But still, Schalke have the noses in front by four goals to two against Freiburg. Bottom of the table, Freiburg. And they've been really tough opposition today. Here comes Schalke. Sopeka, Rafina, Rekitic, Goretzka. Punts it long. It's poor. Very, very poor. And the shot by Freiburg still in play. Causing some troubles, but eventually goes out. Goretzka, Dorado, Goretzka. Bergstahler did all the hard work, 5-2. It's now looking pretty embarrassing for Freiburg, having really dominated the early stages of the match. But look at this, 20 shots apiece. Possession's 50-50, but we've just had more shots on target, and five of them have gone in the back of the net. Pavon. Peterson. Consolation would be maybe to get him as a hat-trick. But no, Molodali makes it a little bit more uh, better on paper. Freiburg 3, Schalke 5. We are creeping and crawling to the final whistle, and there it is. So we did our end of the bargain, keeping up the pace with Bayern as we go into the final two games of the season. In the second game of this video, we take on Leipzig at our place, and we need a win to keep up the pace with Bayern to make the last day of the season pretty interesting. Our starting lineup for this match is like this. Farman Goas, Petra, Rekitic, Kera, Chambers, Rafina, Kahetska, Papon, Maya, Mbolo, Bergstaller up front. Our visit is going with a 4 4 2. And Red Bull Leipzig get the match underway. Schalke now. Mbolo. Chambers. Mbolo got a cross in there. Someone put it in the back of the net. It's in, but won't count. Rafina. Bergstahler. Meyer. Goretzka. Creating some chances, but it's just not good enough at the moment. Farman boots it long. And Bolo will collect, gives it straight away, and here come Leipzig. And you do not want to give that man any space. 30 minutes, or just shy of 30 minutes. Still nil nil. Chambers, Kohetska, Chambers. And Bolo, can he? Oh, he got the he got a cracking cross in there, but Pavon hit on the outside of the bar. And here come Leipzig with their own bit of play. Free kick straight in the arms of Farman. It's end-to-end -end stuff. Look at this. Three shots, four shots. It's very, very. Very, very hard to decide who's on top. Pavon. Can he get a cross in there? He can. It's eventually turned in by Maya. And Bolo with the assist. That's a cracking way to end the half, hopefully, if we can keep up the momentum. Possession is favoring uh, Leipzig at the moment. As we creep and crawl to the 45. Hanging in there, people. And there it is. And the second half gets underway. Rafina. Bergstahler. Chambers with the throw. Maya. Bergstahler pulls it back. Oh, and Bolo's effort. Maya. To Campo. Pavon. Maya's made some room. Gives himself a shot. Fingertip behind for a corner. Rafina takes it. It's gone away. But here come Leipzig with their own free kick. Good effort, but so far we've kept it out of play. Werner's shot. 53 minutes gone. Free kick for our own. Rafina eventually gets on the end of it, but he puts it wide. We're reaching the hour mark with our noses in front. Bergstahler, Pavon, get across in there. Yes, oh, it's a good effort. Gersk puts it wide, though. Still 1 0. Still all to play for. Oh, off the, uh, how, how many missed opportunities are Leipzig going to have? And here comes one-on-one one -on -one situation. Puts it wide. Farman boots this long goal kick towards Goretzka. Headed on. Bergstahler taps it in the first 2-0. Surely that's enough to get the three points. Keep up the pressure to the last game of the season. Free kick. Leipzig straight in the arms of Farman. Bergstahler sets up Meyer, brought down. Goretzka really should have tucked that in the back of the net. 76 minutes gone. Asapecha, Meyer, 
get a cross in, blows it. Werner tries to set up his own man, but he blows it. Goretzka sets up Rafina. Can't get the control of the ball. Chambers now to Mbolo. Oof, that's a poor effort. 85 minutes to go. 2 0 in front against a very, very tricky Leipzig side. Mbolo, Rafina, Bergstahler. Shots kept alive by Pavon. Osapeka, Maya. Bergstahl turns and shoots, and that goes wide. It's been tough, very tough. Maya, Goretzka, Rafina, Bergstahler. I don't know, it takes a ricochet, and that's 3 0. That is definitely game over. 3 0, massive, and that's taking a little bit of hit on, on, the, uh, on the goal difference, but nowhere near what we, we were hoping for. Well, I was never hoping for anything because it was too unrealistic. But anyway, Schalke 3. Uh, Leipzig now. So in the last game of this video, we take on Wolfsburg at their place as Bayern, who will lead the line on goal difference, take on third place Hoffenheim at their place. In order for us to win the title, we've got a better Bayern Munich's result. So if they draw, we must win. If they lose, we can win the title with a draw. So let's go and find out what we got. So my starting 11 for this match looks like this. Farman and Goal, Ostapetra, Rekitic, Kera, Chambers, Rafina, Gretzka, Pavon, Maya, Mbolo and Bergstahler up front we're going to go into this uh with a control mentality uh see it out before we switch gears and maybe go for the throat so our hosts going with a 4-2-3-1 exactly the same formation as us and we have the late scores in the right hand side here but let's get the match going and let's kick this baby off so wolfsburg get the match underway this could be a uh, pure and simple uh win for Bayern, and they win the title that's that's, that's it However, if they fail to win, and we do win, then we're going to spring one of the major shocks in the Bundesliga history, I believe, coming from out of nowhere to win the title. But right now, we've got to at least do our best to match Wolfsburg. We're in a match here, and they're a decent side, Wolfsburg. I know they not, might not have the uh, greatest league position. Where are they? 10th, 11th? Have on with the corner. Go ahead, Ska. Bergstahler. There's a lot of bodies in there. Took a couple of ricochets. There'll be another corner for Schalke. It's pumped in there. It comes out to Pavon. It's cleared by Gomez of all people. Throw it. Schalke. Maya. Can he get across? And yes, he can. I think it's Bergstahler's head. A straight at Castiles between the sticks. Leipzig already. The game between Leipzig and Hamburg. We've already got three goals. Uh, Dortmund also 1 0 up. But really, it's just a two-horse race at the title. Pavon tries to get across in. Eventually comes down to Maya. Goretzka's shot is up and over. And still nil-nil at uh, Hoffenheim, which is great. And Bolo, can he get across in? No, he can't. Castiles collects it. He drops it short. And here come Wolfsburg. Still under a bit of pressure here. A little gaff will give us a chance. And Bolo takes a chance. And we have our noses in front right now. We are heading to be Bundesliga champions. But... We still got a long way to go. What would be ideal would be a Hoffenheim goal um, to keep uh, to give us a bit of wiggle room. Here comes Schalke once again. Maya and Bola Bergstahler straight over the top, and it looks like Bayern have got their noses in front now. So we are uh, we are not we are not destined to be champions. And Wolfsburg now piling on the pressure. It is Bayern one nil up. Alaba on the 28th minute. So we've got to hope and pray for a goal for Hoffenheim. But right now, we've just got to try and keep our noses in front ourselves. Gets in there. Pavon nearly adds to the tally, but no joy. Free kick, Pavon. Plays it short. And it goes by for a goal kick. Come on, Hoffenheim. You want to be third, don't you? Dortmund now third. Current champions. And that is the first half. We have our, we're have we doing all we can at the moment, but it's not good enough. So, Schalke get the second half underway. And now, in fact, it looks like Bayern are in cruise control. It looks like the, tie, the title is staying in Bayern. If we can maintain... In fact, it doesn't really matter for us now, whatever happens, because um, our position cannot change. We are second, whether win, lose or draw. It just would have been nice to have uh, to make the title drama a little bit more dramatic. But uh, anyway, let's just see what we can get from this match. If anything, maybe some more goals. Um, let's just play our own game. 
And here come Wolfsburg with Odegaard. That shot shred at Farman. So all in all, it's been a positive season. Obviously, we had our little Champions League adventure. Uh, we did okay in the Cup. Um, until we got knocked out, I think, by Hoffa Berlin or somebody on penalties. It was a bit of a sham. Um, but yeah, then we got to the Europa League, got eliminated by Olymp Olympiacos, which was a bit of an upset. Um, but yeah, to finish second in the Bundesliga in our second season is not bad. Um, but I have a spoiler for you guys. Whether we won the title or not, this was going to be my final season with Schalke. I'm actually ending the series. I've got another beauty lined up. It's called Old Bastards. You heard me right. It's called Old Bastards. It's going to be a little fun thing, which I'm going to start in the English lower leagues. Um, taking, over, taking over a team as a creator club save. Uh, and all my players, or all the whole first team, have to be over the age of 35. I'm going to try and see if these old cronies or old uh, Zimmer frame bad boys can really keep up the heat with the youngsters and uh, and play some football. Maybe can they can they still get themselves promoted? Obviously, we're going to try and see some uh, familiar names from the past, that kind of stuff. So it'll be good fun. So please make sure you check that out on my YouTube channel, probably starting in a day or so. It might have, it actually, might already, by the time this comes out, it might already be live. So be free to check it out from the beginning. All good fun. But right now, we are still losing this game. We're going to do a roundup, a cleanup of this uh, season and uh, series at the end of this. And we're going to lose this by the looks of things um, if we uh, let in another goal. Chambers. Castile saves. Let's make some last, our final substitutions for us as a um, Schalke manager. Dorado coming on. Uh, Knoplianka will come on for Pavon. And Miniamo is coming on for Mbolo. And let's just switch gears to attacking. Yeah, second is not bad. I, I, I didn't expect to be in a title race. Dorado, Dorado went off, uh, went off the boil somewhat this season. Didn't really explode as well as I'm hoping he would because he did. The, I don't know what we got. We got a red card here. On my final game as manager, we have a red card, um, but we're just gonna spread the defenders out a little bit. Um, but yeah. Was it planned? I don't know. I just, uh, I, didn't, I didn't expect, I don't know what, what, what my thinking was with this. I, did, I was hoping to go a little bit longer, but um, the demands of two concurrent saves uh, took, took its toll a little bit, especially with a, a young pup in the house, which makes recording very difficult. So I'm going to switch it up just to the one save and maybe throw in some experiments, which I've been playing around with. And we are, we are going to lose this last game as Ode is it Odegaard or was it Gomez who got the goal? I will find out in one hair of a second, uh, or not. But yeah, it's a shame. Oh, Gomez. Well, if Gomez didn't get the last one, he got this one. So it's come to this, folks. We've ended it with a 3-1 away defeat to Wolfsburg. Pretty piss poor Knoplianka. And there it is. That's your life. Still don't know who got the goals. Uh, Odegaard, it's the, it's the little youngster, right, from Real Madrid. Valued at 7 million, only 7 million. But that's your lot of uh, team business. And that's going to wrap up the division, wrap up the season, all that kind of stuff. Finished second, which uh, for us is a improvement. If you look over the leagues, we finished third last season, second this season. So maybe just maybe we would have finished first in our third season, but... Uh, ain't gonna happen folks so some additions to the Schalke overall best 11 uh, Chambers gets his name in there Rekitic gets his name in there uh, Rafina now in there Cliver uh, well I think Dorado might have squeezed in there last year end of season awards uh, look like this player of the season Rafina got the nod over Pavon and Dorado Leo, uh, Leon Goretzka with the goal of the season against Inter um, let's not even bother looking at that signing of the season Christian Pavon 5 million from Boca Juniors and he also got young player of the season. This is actually the team of the season right here, which is pretty interesting. No Goretzka in the, st in the team of the season. Um, season review, we knocked down the group stage, finished runners-up, lost in the second round of Olympia. That's, that's pretty shambolic when you think about it. And lost in the, the quarterfinal of the TFB Pokal. Cracking attendance by the fans. Uh, match of the season was a 1-0 home win, and then the moment to forget was the last game of the season against Wolfsburg, which is understandable. Long old season. Didn't expect to be in that position where the game was on the line, but whatever happened with us, I'm sure if if it was in our hands, if we just had to win and we would be champions, I think we would have played that out and won it. But because of the uh, 
you know, I didn't make any wholesale changes when I knew it was two nil up to Bayern because there's no point. There's there's no way if we chased him six six past Wolfsburg, we still would have lost the title. So there's no point. Uh, yep, this is the new look of our squad dynamics. Uh, who any additions up here? Dorado's now influential. Rakitic is influential. Rafinha's influential, but he's going to go in back to Barcelona. So that brings us to the end of this video, end of the season, and end of the series as a whole. It's been fun, glory on the Rhine. Uh, did we bring any glory on the Rhine? We brought some pride on the Rhine, uh, or wherever the heck Schalke is. Uh, I had some flack early days when I put this video out on on uh, some social media platforms that Schalke was nowhere near the Rhine, and, and they're probably right. Um, so I, I had a bad start, a rough start to this, and we had a rough false start to the managerial thing with Schalke, but we ended it finishing second uh, in our second season and we did have some fun in the Champions League and Europe so it's been all in all been good fun good some, some good signings and uh, you know it's, it's been completely enjoyable it's my first time ever managing in Germany and it's been really fun but anyway like I said please check out my old bastards uh, new game save which will be out now if it's not already if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button I'll keep you bang up to date with all FM18 uh, videos going forward uh, but yes, until next time, with the old bastards, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.